So good morning, and welcome to all of you to worship on this seventh Sunday of the season of Easter. It's nice to see a bunch of you here in the sanctuary today, actually. This is great. And good to see all of you out there as well from wherever you might be joining us today. Uh, this is, as I said, the seventh Sunday of uh, Easter. We are also celebrating this as Ascension Sunday using the texts for, uh, the, for the day of the Ascension. So that will shape our service today quite a bit. There are uh, a few of us here in the sanctuary this morning. Uh, Regina is on uh, vacation this weekend. So Terry is here at the piano and organ and leading us in singing. Uh, Natalie and Coco are helping with music, of course. Ray is behind the cameras. Um, Claire is reading our scripture lessons today and Raleigh is leading our prayers. So um, thanks to all of you who are part of uh, leading us in worship today. And uh, as you probably know, it is possible for up to 20 people to be joining for worship in person in the sanctuary. So several have taken us up on that today and are here in the sanctuary. Really great to see you all. So I hope you all found the bulletin for today's service one way or another. It was sent to the congregation's uh, list by email. It's also on our website at genevalutheran.church. If you go to the worship live stream box on the front page, you'll find it there as a PDF file. And we hope you will follow along uh, from wherever you are today on the responses to readings and prayers and the music. In the ecumenical prayer cycle today, we're praying for the churches and people of Bangladesh, Bhutan, and Nepal. You've already heard that will be reflected some in our singing today and also in our praying. So I don't have anything else to say before we begin. We're glad you're all here. Welcome to worship. We prepare our hearts now with the prelude. We stand for our greeting. Love keeps on rising, however much fear might try to hold it bound. It does not remain grounded by what is, but lifts us what might yet be, what we are called to be. Love arising, surprising in its power, even physically apart, we are surrounded by the saints with whom we share a glorious inheritance who encourage us on the way with hands clapping and clear voices singing love's eventual victory with the translation of a poem over a thousand years old we join the hymn of glory to our crucified risen and ascended christ whose name is above every name in whom love keeps on rising.
Clap your hands, all you peoples. Shout to God with loud shouts of joy. For the Lord, the Most High, is awesome, a great ruler over all the earth. God has gone up with a shout, the, the Lord, Lord with, the with the sound of a trumpet. Sing praises to God, sing praises. Sing praises to our ruler, sing praises. For God is the ruler of all the earth. Sing praises with a psalm. God is ruler over the nations. God sits on a holy throne. In our analyzed, categorized, commodified, pixelated world, we can lose track of a basic affirmation. Christ is over all and in all. We can begin to question whether love is at the center, reaching out in all directions. The stories of grace can become overwhelmed by those of revenge and force. Power holds such sway that youth seeking change are, re are recklessly killed. Wealth insists on what it wants, whatever or whoever might be in the way. It is not always easy to keep the faith. So we pray. God, gone up with a shout, we confess that we do not always trust you the victory by which love reigns seems too long coming. We resort to more mundane insurance, depositing, owning, arming, locking, ignoring, blaming. We are constantly told the importance of winning, as if being able to love and to be loved were not a victory. Forgive us all the energy we devote to survival and gain instead of training our eyes upon you, our maker, the source of our lives. Christ over all and in all. Turn us from the divisions that mar your church, that tear at our families, that keep on pitching us against each other. Gather us into your arms and lift us up so we see further than the values we hold dear. Heal us so we become less concerned about propounding our points and better attuned to becoming friends. friends. 